Hello everyone and welcome to the presentation. Today we're going to be talking all about insects. But first, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Laura and I work for the Lesser Slave Forest Education Society. I love finding bugs in the spring and summer and I'm excited to tell you all about insects and what makes them so cool. First of all, we'll talk about exactly what makes an insect an insect. We'll start by looking at an insect's body. Follow along and try to find all of the body parts in the picture as we talk about them. All insects have three pairs of legs, or six legs altogether. Can you see all six legs in this picture? All insects also have three distinct body parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. Insects have a pair of antennae on top of their head to explore the world around them, kind of like how we use our noses to smell and our tongues to taste. Most insects have two compound eyes, which we'll talk about in more detail a bit later on. Some insects, like ladybugs and grasshoppers, have wings, which attach to their thorax. Finally, insects don't have any bones like other animals, so they have their skeletons on the outside of their body as a hard shell instead, which is called their exoskeleton. There are lots of different kinds of insects in the boreal forest, including dragonflies, ladybugs, grasshoppers, bees, wasps, butterflies, moths, and ants. Take a look at these pictures. How many of these insects have you seen before in the forest? You can pause the video so you can count, and then press play to continue. Now that we know what kind of body parts an insect has, let's take a look at spiders. Are spiders insects? Well, spiders have eight legs and only two body parts, the abdomen and something called a cephalothorax. Spiders usually have eight eyes, but they can have as many as 12. Spiders don't have antennae or wings, but they can spin a web made of silk, which comes from special body parts called spinnerets on a spider's abdomen. So, what do you think? Are spiders insects? The answer is no. Spiders are not insects because they have eight legs instead of six and two body parts instead of three. Even though they are different animals, they can often be found living in the same habitats. Spiders also like to eat insects and some spiders build webs to catch them. What about these bugs? They are not insects either. How do we know? Remember, an insect must have six legs and three body parts. If a bug has anything different, then it is not an insect. That means that snails, centipedes, earthworms, and sow bugs are not true insects. What does the life cycle of an insect look like? Let's look at a butterfly more closely. A mother butterfly can lay up to a thousand eggs, which she lays on a leaf. When an egg hatches, it's not the grown-up butterfly that comes out right away, but a caterpillar instead. The caterpillar eats as many leaves as possible and grows bigger and bigger. When it's finally ready, the caterpillar forms a cocoon or chrysalis where they grow wings and transform into an adult butterfly. Where do insects live? They like to live in all sorts of different places, like under rocks, in dry leaves, under the bark of trees, and even under water. Some social insects like bees, ants, and wasps live in huge colonies or hives with thousands and thousands of their brothers and sisters. In beehives and wasp nests, all of the insects work together to protect the queen, who is the largest and most important insect in the colony. Different insects eat different kinds of food. About half of all insects in the world are herbivores, which means they eat plants and feed on leaves, roots, seeds, or wood. Some insects, like bees and butterflies, have a long nose that they use to drink the sweet nectar from flowers. Other insects like to eat dead things, like fallen trees in the forest or even animal poop. Some, like wasps, dragonflies, and even ladybugs, are predators, which means they eat other bugs. Ladybugs are really great to have in your garden because they love to eat tiny green insects called aphids, which like to eat the leaves on our garden plants. What other animals like to eat insects? Many of the birds in the boreal forest do. Some birds travel thousands of kilometers every single year to eat all the insects that hatch in the spring. Other birds that live in the forest all year long like to eat insects too, like woodpeckers, who use their pointy beaks to drill holes in a tree, then slurp up any bugs they find with a long tongue. Other animals, like frogs, chipmunks, and red squirrels, like to eat crawling insects like beetles. 
bats are very good at catching mosquitoes, which is really good for us humans. Even bears eat insects early in the spring before the berries are ready. Although many people might think of insects as pests that can be annoying or irritating, insects are very important to the environment and to humans. Lots of different animals in the boreal forest need insects for food, so they are important for wildlife. Bees are one of the few insects that make food for humans, which is honey. Insects that like to eat dead things in the forest help break down old trees and logs, which makes the soil healthy to grow more plants. Finally, insects like wasps, bees, butterflies, and ants are important pollinators. This means they carry a little bit of powdery, sticky pollen from one flower to another while they are feeding on nectar, which makes the plant produce more flowers and seeds. Lots of the food that humans eat must be grown from a seed, so we really need insects to help us grow healthy crops for fruits and vegetables. Now that we have learned all about insects, I want to show you what it's like to see like a bee. As we mentioned earlier, all insects have two large compound eyes, which are made up of thousands of tiny circles called facets. Each facet sees a slightly different picture of the world. When the insects put all of the pictures together, they can see, but in a very different way than humans. Here is a flower as a human sees it. What color is this flower? Do you see any special patterns on the petals? I see a flower with a brown center and yellow petals. Humans can only see one kind of light, but bees and butterflies can see a different kind of light called ultraviolet or UV light, which is invisible to humans. Some plants have patterns that can only be seen by animals that can see ultraviolet light. So what does this flower look like if we could see UV light? It looks like this. Bees can see hidden patterns in the petals that humans can't. Why do you think a flower would have this pattern? Well, it kind of looks like a landing pad. Bees drink nectar from the center of the flower, so the flower is actually showing the bee where to land and where to get food. Finally, let's look at the same flower under UV light and through the facets of a bee's compound eye. Here's what the flower would look like to a bee. All of the tiny pictures together make up a big picture of the flower that's a little blurry. This is what a bee sees when all we see is a yellow flower. Thank you so much for watching today. One last little quiz before you go. There are eight bugs on the screen, but only six are insects. Can you spot the two that are not insects? If you said the spider and the snail, you are correct. There is also a worksheet on Google Docs for you to complete, where you have to label the different parts of an insect, which your teacher will share with you. Hopefully we'll start finding some insects outside very soon, and I'm looking forward to our virtual field trip in a few more weeks. Take care.